feeling is going to go with King Hair, but just in case, let's just see what what God's got to say. But I've made my decision already. And sometimes I wonder, I, I, I hear speakers and we, we discuss about these new methods of evangelism. We discuss these methods of, of church planting and we discuss Alpha and Life Info. And we say, this is the way to go. But, but, oh, but let's see what God's got to say on it. And so we throw in this little one or two statements from Spirit of Prophecy. There you go, the prophet blesses it. But we've already made our decision to go down this road. We've already decided that we're going to have affinity with Babylon. But let's just check what, 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 what is in the book of Evangelism. Just, just so we've got a bit of backing to, to convince some of those hardened conservatives. But he does say, inquire, I pray, that the word of the Lord today. Maybe God will, maybe God put a thought in his mind just to say, look, halt. Halt before you go too far. Therefore the king of Israel gathered together of prophets 400 men and said unto them, Shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? And they said, Go up, for God will deliver it unto the king's hand. What God? What God was speaking to them? For God will deliver it into the hand of the king's hand. But Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides? That we might inquire of him. You see, Jehoshaphat was compromising. Do you want to compromise, brethren? He was compromised. He was, in, he was now in trouble. Because he could see, on the one hand, that he's already made a decision to go with King, Ham, King, King Ahab. And all these prophets that were speaking, he knew there was something not quite right about them. He knew. How did he know? Because he understood the book of the law. He knew what was a true prophet, and he knew what was a false prophet. Can we, can we know the difference? When we read certain books, can we, can we discern that? Is this of God, or is this of Babylon? Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides that we might inquire of him? I mean, by now, if it was, I mean, I say if it was me, but I wonder how I would fare, but my alarm bells will start ringing. I've got all these 400 false prophets supporting King Ahab, and I'm, I'm going to go into war with him on the basis of these false prophets. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man by whom we may inquire of the Lord, but I hate him. I hate spirit of prophecy. I hate the testimonies. I don't want to inquire of that. I'd rather inquire of this book over here. I hate him. I hate Ellen White. For he never prophesied good unto me. When she tells me I shouldn't do this, I can't stand it. When I read messages to young people, it's legalism. When I read councils and diet and foods, who is she to tell me what to do? When I read the book Evangelism, what does she know about evangelism? And then Adventist said, what does she know about raising children? She was never there. I hate her because she gives me bad testimonies. But I hate him for he never prophesied good unto me. But always evil. The same as Micaiah, the son of Imla. And Jehoshaphat said, let what the king say so. So often, I've been to some churches, we want the Bible and the Bible only. Don't, don't use their quote spirit of prophecy. And one or two will say, no, don't, don't say that, don't say that. <coughs> Let not the king say so. King Jehoshaphat should be leaving now. He's dealing with a man who hates the true prophet of God. And he's still tangling. Do you want to tangle with people who hate the true prophets of God? And Jehoshaphat said, let not the king say so. And the king of Israel called for one of his officers and said, fetch quickly Micaiah, the son of Imla. Today he would say, let's get some of those books off the shelves and take the dust off. And the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, sat either of them on his throne, clothed in their robes. And they sat in a void place at the entering in of the gate of Samaria. And all the prophets prophesied before them. 
and Zedekiah the son of Chenaniah, and made him horns of iron, and said, Thus saith the Lord, which Lord? With thee thou shalt push Syria until they be consumed. And all the prophets prophesied so, saying, Go up to Ramoth Gilead, and prosper, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. And the messenger that went to call Micaiah spoke to him, saying, Behold, the words of the prophets declare good to the king with one ascent. Let thy word therefore, I pray thee, be like one of theirs, and speak thou good. And Micaiah said, As the Lord liveth, even what my God saith, that will I speak. Amen. You know, some years back I was asked to take a program. And just before I was going to stand at the pulpit, the elder pulled me aside. And he warned me. He did like this. He said, you be careful and mindful what you say today. You're a guest here today. You just be careful what you say. How do you think I felt? My legs were shaking. Thank you. Before I've even started, I'm getting told off. I've not even said anything and I'm being told off. My legs were shaking. I'm thinking in my mind, I have to ignore this man. I have to speak what God has called me to say. Are you going to say what God has asked you to say? Or are you going to worry what the brethren are going to think? And then I was about to do another program. I was doing, actually it was a series on health. I did part one the night before, and um, there was a particular sister. She did not like what I had to say because I said one or two statements on eggs and milk. And she complained to the pastor. I said to the pastor, who, who asked him to take this program? He's a fanatic. He's telling everyone to be vegans. Pastor, you need to sort him out. So night two, just about to do the program, and I was just about to talk about seven day Adventists and their lifestyle study. And I was about to explain that out of, out of all the Adventists, probably about 30-40% are vegetarian, and that this lifestyle study showed that those that, from one end to the other, had health benefits, but just before I was about to start, the pastor pulls me aside and scolds me for 10 minutes, saying, don't be a fanatic. Be careful who you do. You know, there's non-Adventist here. You need to be delicate and soft. I was thinking, where is this coming from? So I'm about to do this program and my legs are shaking. I'm thinking, again, I'm getting told off here. You know, no, no, no. I said, Lord, I said, I had to go on my knees and say, Lord, you speak. Amen. And I said it straight. I said what I had to say. And then, you know, the pastor came up and she apologized to me. and said, I was wrong. Sorry. That was the most balanced presentation of it. I take it back. So brethren, you know, do not be afraid to speak what God has asked Amen. you to say. Amen. And you know, sometimes I'll speak and I don't get asked back again. <laughs> I don't get asked back again. Amen. Because they can't handle what I've got to say to them. I did, I did a presentation. It was so strong, they didn't know what hit them. They, 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 I had to come back again because it was on the roster. I did it again. And then you know, they said, oh, we have to cancel the next two bookings. Uh, we, we've got other arrangements. But we'll have you for Health and Temperance Day. Oh, uh, Health and Temperance had to get postponed. Oh, uh, I don't know when we can ask you back again. Oh, yes, you've been cancelled out. You know, brothers, this is, the time is short. And, and I'll just tell you it straight. We have to preach what God has called us Amen. to do. Amen. And you know, if I get blocked, I'll just turn out our DVD and you can have it free. <laughs> because God's truth is not going to be stopped. Amen. Amen. If they block me, you can have a free DVD. Because God has asked me to tell you something. And, and, and if man tries to stop it, the stones are going to cry out. Amen. And when he was come to the king, the king said unto him, Micaiah, shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? Ahab's already made his mind up. 
Jehoshaphat's already made, made his mind.